Anyway, I'm really excited for like episode 397 of Septericor to have a thousand views because the thumbnail says resume tips and tricks. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get real uh, real search engine optimization. Just talk about resume tips. Get a job with this one weird tip. <laughs> Patrick's oh crying because he knows it's true. <laughs> it, it is, and I hate it. Oh. I'm summoning the giant fireworm, and it'll make me feel better. <laughs> he knows. He knows what to do on my resume. <laughs> Just burn it. Burn it to the ground. I know what you should do with your resume. Set it on fire. Aww. <laughs> That's such a pitiful amount of damage. Oh god, she's dead again. I think we bit off more than we can chew. Uh, maybe. Ha! You can't berserk him. Smelling salts, go! Yeah, he can cast Berserk and he can also summon ghosts. Go ass, you say? Yes. Anything but that. Use a, yeah, use a potion. I'm gonna. He oh, gets less because he's not potion receptive. He's not fully human. Ow. And apparently, this isn't the fight to cast a uh, barrier in. It's the fourth one. I I don't think we even have barrier. Are you sure? Oh my god, I would love it if we would actually hit. I like this walkthrough that we have that's completely randomized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem to care when... Uh, when or where you encounter things. It's just like, nah, we're gonna... Alright, and so what you need to do after you defeat the Pewter City Gym is just go beat up Giovanni. It's fine. <laughs> like I said, the only other game I've ever played is Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is Pokemon. I don't know what you're talking about. There is an awful lot of Pokemon. Pokemon in life. I don't have a Switch. Should I ask for one for Christmas? You should Which absolutely is not ask for one. Coming up. <laughs> well, oh, I mean, yeah. Christmas you is should ask after for a Halloween. Switch for Thanksgiving. Man, Selena's kisses are getting less and less potent. They really are, but it still did more damage than a sword swing. <laughs> That's really tragic. Man, we're reverting back down to, like, <laughs> old battle style. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like being, like, appropriate level for things. or slightly too level, low level for don't, them. Don't worry, the next two fights are harder. Yeah, we're not doing them right now. <laughs> but after beating the, the fifth stones battle, uh, which is three gold-silver rhinos... Uh, you get the Spirit Guard, which protects against all elemental attacks. That's lovely. For now, I want the survive the the attack. <laughs> yeah. Right now, I want the don't die, so that I can get experience points. Yay! You did it! I got a quick gem. A quick gem. I don't know what that does. Let's find out. The 
quick gem. There it is. Increases Adds your speed. speed by four. Imagine that. So uh, we're leaving the forest for now. Yeah, that's probably a good we'll idea. We'll come back later. And uh, that's the end of the optional quests. From this point forward, this guy recommends equipping Maya with the touchstone, Ariam with the restore ring, and Selena with the spirit guard. That way you've got a balanced party and the accessories are kick-ass. But I don't like Ariam. Yeah, so I guess we're free to not use him. Okay. So let's continue to do that. So, where to? Shell one! Alright, so let's start by attempting to go in the city and getting kicked out. The Chosen are fighting amongst themselves again. Oh, we can choose which district to go into. Uh, where do you think? Go to the... Well, Shannon, I mean, where do you want to just shopping? guide you through? Yeah, um... Oh, I was hoping there was going to be, like, a cool number, but no, they're just... They're just sequential. And arbitrary. Yeah. I'm going to do 234 because... Yeah. That's the most sequential the numbers of sequential up. numbers. Yeah, I like even numbers. That is a big robot. Yes, it is. Look at his shoulders! He, he has a little tiny face inset in there. And I'm not sure why. So tiny. <laughs> Look, I just want to... <laughs> <laughs> oh. So Come close. on. You know what? We're just, just finish it off with a torso spin. You know what? I bet this is why they said to take uh, Aram instead of our bounty hunter guy. Because if he's in slot three, they are having yeah, us actually line lined up. up a lot more. Oh, goodbye. That's real dumb. They can just nope out like that? Yeah. Why can't I do that? I think that's called save scumming. Oh, you're right. So, why do the enemies get to scum my save? Oh, praising, dude. Maya leveled oh, hey, up. Hey, Maya leveled up, and we didn't even bother noticing. It was not exciting at all. Aw, I believe in you, Maya. No! Fight us instead! Well, if you insist... <laughs> Torso spin. Wee. I feel dance, like eventually my dance. neighbors are going to call the cops and be like, "I don't know, there's just a whole lot of flashing going on." <laughs> a lot of flashing shouting, along bullet with bullet spin and bullet dance, bullet rave. I think she's a terrorist. And well, now, now we're, we're definitely demonetized. demonetized. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Damn, we were doing so well. Oh, yeah. Although, to be honest, I think I've seen uh, videos on YouTube where somebody just reads one right after the other the entire list of words that automatically get videos demonetized on YouTube. And that's the entire content of the video. He just reads it top to bottom. You know, like you do. <laughs> so we're we're back to the uh, the cloak and barrier enemies. And the fact that they have completely taken one of my party members out of the fight is not helpful. <laughs> See, the poison seems not helpful too. I I was having I was having fun. I was having fun. And then they that pulled was this back. It was my mistake. Do I even The Resist. herb. What? 
the herb. It cures poison. Yes, but I'd rather just heal her right now. Oh, fine. What? Oh, that totally missed. What the hell? Give you. Uh. <laughs> they they really hate her for some reason. That's just not cool. And this is their level one attack, so I'm I'm kind of scared what happens if they ever get a higher level attack off. They probably don't need to. They might not even program them with one. Oh, you think they're just programmed to just continually use their first tier of attack? I wouldn't see why not. That's yeah, fair. Do you think this game gets less and less playtested the farther in you? <laughs> I have a feeling that you are correct. I wouldn't doubt that either. I don't think a QA agent is going to bother to play this far into the story. They're not going to care. I'm sure there's, you know, at least one diligent employee that... Yeah, he probably got up to up to this point and then was just like, eh. No, he got to check it good in the playthrough guide and went, alright. <laughs> you know, I would, love, I would love it if the, the guide that I'm reading were actually like the <laughs> testing procedure notes handed to the QA department. Just here just just make sure nothing breaks. Just oh check my gosh. memory leaks. Did you see that post from I think it was the Outer Worlds dev? Yesterday or the day before? Where they? No, I, I did not. They had a problem where, like, sometimes the companions on the ship would die, and it was something oh. that sometimes came up in QA testing, but they couldn't replicate it. I so oh they yeah, were like, I, I I remember. It's like they climb an infinite la a ladder of infinite height, and they die of exhaustion. Yeah. What? Yeah, well, because they they have like there's a st like there's a stamina gauge or something like that, and you can keep going past when your stamina gauge wears out, but you start taking hit point damage, and companions and NPCs follow the same mechanics. So, wow, it was pretty interesting because they couldn't replicate it and they were like well you know it only came up once or twice in testing it's probably not that big a deal but then of course thousands and thousands of people started playing it and you know people's characters companions and they couldn't figure out why until like i guess they were watching somebody's playthrough and noticed like in a cut scene that somebody's companion was climbing a ladder and it turned out in the code they made it such that if an npc does something the animation can't be interrupted by something oh they were stuck climbing the ladder for the duration of the cutscene and they couldn't stop well after yeah. the cutscene was done yeah exactly so oh no the end of the thread is this great gif that he posted where you're just you see it go through the ceiling and the camera tracks after it and you see like all the galaxy behind it and the ships getting <laughs> farther and farther away in the distance. And eventually, I think it actually died of fall damage. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> because that was the only damage that the companions could actually take while on the ship. Wow. But it was pretty neat. That's oh. awesome. <laughs> Can I make these guys f climb infinite height ladders? That'd be nice. Uh, yeah, in the isometric map, sure. Hey, to be I mean, fair, we already have we already have regular old birds on the world map that have hundreds of hit points. So I don't see why infinite height ladders here would be out of outside the ordinary. I feel so.